What's up guys, you know who it is, Lujitsky Syndicates, I'm here today with you, uh, I'm going to give you guys something a little different, I'm going to make a beat video, uh, just little snippets of the beat coming together and the process of actually making it, figured I'd give you guys something a little different, keep you guys in tune and interested while this producer album comes together. A lot of work has been going into it, and I suggest you guys stay in tune. Any hip hop heads, I mean, we got we got hip hop all over this. So uh, stay tuned for now. Here we are making a beat. Lajitsky Syndicates beats mixing, mastering, scratching. Hit me up. So my sample of choice, we're gonna go with. Uh, the early 20th century. Just gonna bring this over here. Try and get this. I'm doing this all by myself, guys. Bear with me. Boom, I'll grab the first one. See if I could fit in a quick little trick here that I do to give it a sub bass, kind of thicker, thicker track, thicker beat. Um, double that. What you're using actually is a oscillator. Normally you wouldn't use it. Bear, hold your ears. Come down here and look. Frequency. I'll start with like 52, you probably can't hear it now, but it's rumbling, I'll bypass that for now, uh, take the kick, send it to bus one, 
Send this to bus one. Or wait, wait, nope. Don't want to send that to bus one, my bad. Output bus one. Output bus one. Get rid of this. Bring up your mixing window. All right, that's at zero. This is the oscillator. I'm gonna put a noise gate on there. Basically just making it react with the kick drum. And I'll come down here, get the threshold a little bit down. I know a little bit where it, where it comes in. So I'll just hold it for a little bit. I'll just start with that. Let's see. Turn the oscillator on. Okay. I fucked up something. Oh, side chain. We got a side chain at the bus one. That's the activity light, it just went off. So now we got Let's see. That's the oscillator working with the kick now. Alrighty. A little bit of the hook switch up here. What I, what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some scratching. If it works, we'll see. Alright, so we're back. Uh, gonna work on some scratching for the hook. I got me uh, DJ Doom and Blackistan. Deep Breath. Uh, sick little record single here. Um, so I'll be back. I'm gonna get all set up. Turn my mixers on. Get everything going. And uh, right, so I'll be back. scratching parts. I'm just gonna. I got a life goes on part coming. Life goes on. Life, life, life goes on. All right, so I'm gonna throw that over the hook. Got a little food in my stomach to finish this video. Did a little editing on these cuts. Add a little delay designer. Here's what we got. Here's what we got. With music. Alright, so now after a bunch of crap you guys don't want to see, EQing and a bunch of shit like that, a little compression, whatnot, now we are on to the mastering. The top one is what my mastered file is going to be, and the bottom is going to be the original. I already did all the editing to the parameters and everything, so I'm just going to run you guys real quick through what I did. Alright, so first we got the analyzer. Multimeter analyzer. I threw my EQ up, you know, light EQing, nothing crazy. Trying to get these levels. 
somewhat. Do a little more EQing actually. So then we go on to the multi press, which is a multi channel compressor. They're low, low, mid, mid, high, and highs. Now that's, well actually I want to take the attack off of each of these because compressor automatically gives it attack pretty much. So that's after I got that. And then the final thing in the mastering that I messed with is the limiter. This is what? Pow! 